Hey, this is Brian. And this is Buddy. And today? And today, we're gonna change the oil. On an F30 335 with the N55 motor. <laughs> As a first step, go ahead and jack up your car and put it on jack stands. Come on, keep going. Pull. Ready, pull it up. Okay, so after you have securely placed your car on jack stands and you've made sure that the car is extra secure, what you wanna do is go ahead and find your oil cap and you just wanna take it off. This is going to make the oil flow much better than if you left it on. Okay, so at this point when you're under your vehicle, you will notice that the oil plug is way back here. Don't drain this, it's your differential, and that'll be a bad day if you drain that and then put double the engine oil in. So you'll notice that this car is an X drive, so it has a metal uh, drain plug. If you have a rear wheel drive car, you may have a plastic plug. So keep that in mind as we're going through this. All right, so go ahead and grab a 17 millimeter socket. Go ahead and remove your oil plug. It's like it was on there tight. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Dad, that was so funny. <laughs> I'm glad you thought so. All right, go ahead and let that drain completely. All right, so once your oil has completely drained out, go ahead and get your oil filter. Now I have the HU816X. This is for the X drive. I'll post the link for the rear wheel drive and also for the X drive in the description. So inside your filter container here, you have your filter, which we're going to get to in a second. And in here you have two O-rings and you have a crush washer. So go ahead and get that crush washer out. Now, make sure that your crush washer came off when you took your oil plug out. So mine was actually stuck to the oil pan. If you put two washers on there, sometimes it can't get a good seal. So that would just be a bad day. So go ahead and make sure that your old one is off. Put your new crush washer on here. And what we're going to do is after I hand tighten this, we're going to torque it down to 18.4 foot pound torque. It's the same exact setting that we're going to do the oil cap on as well for the oil filter. Okay. So I'm just gonna hand tighten and then we'll come back and torque it down in a second. All right, so now what you wanna do is with towel in hand, you wanna remove this, this oil filter cap. So go ahead. Go ahead. All right. All right, and if you don't have one of these oil filter cap removal tools, we'll make sure to put a link in the description for this one as well. Okay, so then what you wanna do is go ahead, just shake off the extra oil, and then just pull the filter out. Okay, I'm just gonna wipe this off. We're gonna set that here for a second. Okay, so earlier we told you that there are two other grommets in this little bag here. Let's go ahead and just carefully take those out. The little one goes right up here. So what you do is just take a pick tool and just ever so gently remove it just like that. Then take your new one and just go ahead and press that into place. Make sure that it sits nice in that little groove. Then what you need to do is you need to remove the big O-ring, which is right here. Let's just go ahead, remove that like so. Then grab your new one. Just go ahead and put that back. And just make sure that it sits in that nice groove and that everything is nice and flush. Now take your man oil filter. Doesn't matter which way it goes. Just get it. And just press it on. Once you've done that, Go ahead and hand thread this in. Again, this is going to get torqued to 18.4 foot pounds torque. Okay, so once you've hand tightened it, go back over it and torque it down to 18.4 foot pound torque, just like the drain bolt. All right, so now what we need to do is we need to add seven quarts of oil. Now, if you have a 328 or a 320, it's typically five quarts. The 335, however, is seven quarts. So make sure that you get enough oil and then just go ahead so what I am using, I am using Mobile One Zero W40, fully synthetic. Uh, typically, 
I do an oil change about five, every five or six thousand miles. I know some of the BMWs will say 10 to 12 thousand, but I just don't like taking it that far personally. All right, so once you've done that, go ahead, put your oil cap back on. Just twist that until it clicks. All right, so now go ahead and start your car. And what you wanna do is you wanna check your oil level. Make sure that you put in enough oil. So if you haven't checked your oil yet, you get down to vehicle info, then you go down to vehicle status, then you go down to measure oil level, and then once your car comes up to operating temperature, what you wanna do is just do the start measurement. It takes about two minutes or so, and then you'll be able to see your measurement. So let's go ahead and initiate that. Okay, so right now it says that I am at the max line. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to reset our service light. Go ahead and press the engine start stop button just one time. You can see that mine says that I need oil in 11,000 miles. I just got this car in about a month and a half ago. I don't know what kind of oil they used or how old it was, so we're just gonna change it. After you've pressed the engine start stop button, go ahead and press this button over here for about 10 seconds. Okay, and then what you can do, you can see that there's engine oil. If you tap it one time, you can go through everything that needs to be checked. Once you find the one that you wanna reset, Go ahead and hold that again, just for a couple seconds. It'll say reset, you let go, you hold it again, and it'll say resetting in progress, and then reset unsuccessful. So typically once you go to do that reset, it will say reset successful. There are a few circumstances, which you saw, where it will say unsuccessful. One of the biggest things that I've heard is if your oil change ratio is too far away. So with mine, it says I have to change it in 11,000 miles, which is pretty much a new oil change. So the good thing is, is I don't really rely on that anyway because I do it every five to 6,000 miles. But as long as your car is saying, hey, it's time for an oil change, you should be good to get a reset successful on that. Again, this is Brian and Levi. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. As always, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you stay tuned for some cool videos. You may have seen some things in the car that weren't there before. There haven't been videos on yet but they are coming. So again, this is Brian, thanks for watching. Have a great day.